Hello everyone, I'm Rebecca and this video is about relearning simple mathematical calculations after my stroke. My stroke damaged the left angular gyrus and that part of the brain is known to cause computational difficulties. The loss of the ability to add, subtract, multiply, and divide is called acalculia. A meaning without, and calculia is calculation or math. So I am now really rubbish at math. Calculation involves the integration of several cognitive skills. For someone like me with a calculia, this can fall apart in a number of different ways. Before I get into that, I wanted to let you know where I was in math. For the past few years, I'd been getting pretty good. I had completed my graduate level courses in statistics. I was using statistics to show the relationship between cyclist injury and speed of motor vehicles. For a while, I was using statistics every day, so you can imagine how difficult it is for my right brain to accept the limitations of my left brain. Damage to the left angular gyrus tends to lead to greater difficulties in memorized mathematics, such as multiplication tables. In this next video, it is six months post-injury, and my husband is quizzing my kids and I on our multiplication tables. Okay. On your marks, get set. Two times two. Four. Two times six. Twelve. Two times eight. Sixteen. Three times four. Twelve. Oscar! Twelve. Right, three times. Six times five. Thirty. Five Ready? times nine. Forty-five. Nine times seven. Sixty-three. Eight times seven. I'm going to draw attention to two things. The first is that even though I recognize that each number has a value, I don't immediately register the number that I hear. And the second is that when I can solve the problem, it takes me a great deal of time. This next video is about knowing a number's location in a series of numbers. My homework task is to order 10 random numbers um, in ascending order. You may notice that I say some of the numbers wrong and although I do successfully complete the task, you may also notice that some of the previous ones had errors. 96, 56, 93, 40, 30, 34, 75, 99, 18, 50, 17. So 17, 18, um, 17, 90, 90, and 99, and then 18, 34, 36, 6. In this next video, it is six months post injury and I'm working with my occupational therapist. There is no calculation required in this task. The task is to hear a spoken number such as five and write down the numerical number such as a five. The next one I Ready, wrote the next one. one, four, six, eight. Yes, that's correct. The next one I wrote two, zero, six, two. No. Really? That one should be two, six, zero. Oh, I don't think I heard, understood going between the thousands and the one hundreds. 
Like I in... wondered if that might have been a problem. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then number four, I wrote one thousand one five six zero. Okay, it should be one five zero six. Oh, seriously? Mm-hmm. Oh, these are bad. The next one I wrote three zero one one. Should just be three one one. They're all wrong. The mm. next one I wrote. Okay. <sighs> Number six I wrote eight zero two zero. No, it should be eight two zero. Eight two zero. Okay. I'm just reflecting on the occupational therapy class I just had. Um, where I had almost every number incorrect. And um, I think the scary thing for me right now is that I felt really confident. And I even told my occupational therapist that I didn't even think we needed to review the numbers because I felt really good that I uh, heard them correctly and wrote them correctly. And then to see them almost all wrong it feels it just like I feel really vulnerable in my world it feels like that hill is so big to climb to get back to get back to where I was it's just sucks it just sucks this is the end of my video on acalculia. If you are interested in this topic, I've made a video on learning to read and write. Thank you again for all of your support during my recovery.